Morning. It's turned from a very leisurely morning this morning into absolute chaos. Kids go back to school tomorrow and we were sorting out their new uniform and I've realised a pair of Thomas's shorts don't fit. Uh, he's got no trainers for PE and neither of them have got any PE shorts. So uh, we're racing to the sports shop now to hopefully pick some stuff up. Thomas. Right, these are trainers for school, okay? So they're not posh trainers to wear every day. These are school trainers, so Daddy will decide. Ah! <laughs> You're Wally. <laughs> Did you forget to do yourself up? <laughs> so Daddy's gonna decide which ones we buy, alright? So no arguments in store? You can help me choose, okay? Kick it through that neck. You have to kick it through that neck. And that's right. To try them out, can you run down there and back again? Oof! And what do you think? They're fast, but I want the faster ones. I don't think they do any faster ones in here. These are the fastest ones they do. What did Grandma say? Don't let Daddy buy you shorts that go past your knees. Why or not? Anything that goes past your knees. Why not? Because <laughs> she, she said that you want that none to last us until we're about 60. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> The trouble I always find with going in that place is you always spend a load of money on stuff you never knew you wanted. Now aren't we going home Daddy? No, we're not going home yet. Okay. Next, we're off to change your shorts. And then when we change your shorts, it's the hairdressers. What an exciting day we've got. This is like a military operation today, but I cannot walk past another coffee shop. So the next one we come to, we're going in. You can have that. Up there and down no, here. One of those. One, one of those. One of those. At the bottom. Hello. Nice and hot for you. Flat white, if I may, please. Yeah, drinking. And those, yes, please. Anything else? Uh, that's all. Thank you very much. Okay, there we go. Thank you, Daddy. But that, uh, that Daddy is in control of that. Thank you. There's two weeks. So, why do you want to go back to school? Because um, we are um, because um, at school. You can't, you, when you're off school you can't do all the clubs that you normally do at school and also you can't learn. True. Well Tom you can learn at home but you just don't do as much. No. And I like learning. Do you want to go back to school Thomas? No. Why not? Because <laughs> it's boring. What's boring about school? Hard work. Hey? Hard work. It's hard work? Again, my favourite thing going to the hairdressers. I think um, the last time I went to a hairdresser, I was probably 19, and I bought a set of clippers after that. And um, well, this is the result of it. It's an electric car. Daddy. Are you for mummy? No, don't. <laughs> Well, that's, that's a nice hairdo. <laughs> right, let's have a look at your haircuts then. Oh, look at this, all short. And... You look, you've got an itchy neck. You've got a bit of hair on there. There you go. Look at you two looking smart. Ready? All ready for school, yeah? That is another job ticked off the list. One left to do. We're going to go to the supermarket, get some food. All ready, all ready to cook dinner for tonight. And then we can sit down and relax for the rest of the day. Right, they're set up watching a film. Excuse me while I cook dinner. Well, time's a bit tight today. But um, so the update. Uh, by 
take you back. My Nissan Leaf, I've got a deal on it over four years, a PCP over four years, which will run out in June of 2019. Now, when I set up that deal, uh, I obviously spoke in length about the various finance things, and I was told that after three years, which will be obviously June next year, uh, then I should be able to change the car, and it shouldn't be too costly to do so. The problem has happened or come about because last week I found out that the office that I work at is probably or is moving. Uh, now it's not the end of the world because I don't go in there every day so um, I don't have to worry about commuting every day. But the issues come because at the moment my commute there and back is about 23 miles. When it moves it's going to be an 80 mile round trip. Now. You know, with the 30 kilowatt hour leaf, it wouldn't be an issue, but I've got the 24 kilowatt hour leaf, and you know, it, it can do 80 miles, but you have to be a bit careful. And, um, you know, best will in the world, I could make it work, but I, I don't want to be driving at 55 miles an hour, 60 mile an hour, everywhere on the dual carriageways. You know, I'm commuting to and from work, I just want to get there and I want to get home. So. I started thinking, right, what are my other options? Well, there's lots. Uh, one of those options is I use my very old Mazda 6, which is a 2005 two litre petrol car, and um, I kind of just accept that it's gonna cost me some money. You know, keeping that car really isn't an option for us, so one way or another, I would like to have two electric cars. So anyway, this is a roundabout way of um, saying that I then started obviously looking at different cars, and straight away I thought of the Hyundai Ionic because it's got the range. So uh, I phoned Hyundai up yesterday. Our local dealer, uh, Westover, they're, they're a big group. I bought my Nissan from the Westover group. So Westover Nissan, that's where I got my Leaf from. They were absolutely brilliant. Same group, but Hyundai. I um, phoned yesterday and asked them if I could have a test drive in the Ionic. Unfortunately, it was the total opposite. They told me I could only go for a, a 25 minute test drive with a member of staff and that was it. And the reason they gave was that they're not insured to let you know, me as a customer take that away for a test drive. They have to sit next to me and I can only have 25 minutes. So I very politely explained, well, that was no good to me. I can't you know, work out what the car's gonna be like in 25 minutes. You know, I know it'll be an all right car. I know it'll drive. You know, 25 minutes tells you nothing in an electric car. I was a little bit disappointed in that, so I uh, just happened to pop a message on Twitter, uh, just saying that I was a really keen customer and now they've effectively they've lost out. Well, within minutes I had a reply. Very long story short, uh, I ended up with a message saying, um, ever so sorry, the sales staff got it wrong, we will phone you and arrange a 24 hour test drive. So. The long and short of my exciting news is I should have a 24 hour test drive of a Hyundai Ionic coming up soon and obviously I will tell you all about it, tell you what I think of it. Um, it seems to me that people that own them uh, just rave about them, probably more so than leaf owners. But excuse me, my eyes, these are very strong onions uh, and I'm rubbish with onions so uh, hang on one moment. Right that's better, they're in the pan, wow they were strong. Uh, so yeah, basically, if you um, if you own a, an Ionic or you've been looking into them yourself, uh, perhaps you can help me out. What what do I need to look for? What do I need to ask? Uh, what are the pros and cons with them? Um, any help gratefully received. But uh, this is the start of a bit of a journey for possibly a replacement for my current leaf, possibly an addition to go with the leaf if I keep it. Uh, so yeah, stick with me, and um, hopefully you can help me kind of find my way through this minefield again because uh, this is like going back two years when I was looking at the leaf first of all. Weren't many other choices then but of course there's quite a bit more to choose from now and more coming. So uh, yeah, any help gratefully received. Uh, and that's it for today. I'm going to finish cooking up dinner uh, and get the kids sorted ready for school tomorrow. That's it, summer is over. And uh, yeah, so there you go. That's the end of the vlog. If you've enjoyed it today remember to like and share it and if you're not doing so already subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you again soon. Take care.